Hey there travelers and welcome to another episode of the Horror Green Book. I am your travel guide Brendan and today we are in Austin, Texas bringing to you another filming location. We've done the filming locations for the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So today we will be exploring some of the filming locations for the ultra fun, very different sequel. Thirteen years ago, audiences across America were horrified by the savagery of a faceless killer. In the wake of this bizarre rampage, he vanished. Now, after more than a decade of silence, he has come out of hiding. Chainsaw Massacre 2. The buzz is back. Directed by Toby Hooper. We are here in front of the mean-eyed cat bar, which in the film served as the setting for the cut right chainsaw store. One of the very, very infamous locations in the film where Lefty came to check out some of the inventory and, you know, get his weaponry up to compare and go up against the Sawyers. Now this particular side you will recognize from the film where the marching band is coming down the side. You see the railroad tracks and the telephone pole. Right here is where Lefty is actually sitting and to see exactly how close the bar is literally you turn around and the bar is right there and you know you can see how different Austin is as opposed to how it was during the time of the filming way more is going on you have a pub crawl going on it's very very festive so Austin's definitely very different one thing that's really cool is that they serve barbecue here at the Mean Eyed Cat Bar. You know, in the film, the Sawyers <laughs> were famous for barbecue. So, the fact that just like at the gas station in Bastrop, you can actually find some good meat here. Let's just actually hope that it's from, you know, cattle, not human cattle. And right at the entrance, you actually see a sign from the movie that was outside of the building from the Cut Right Chainsaw Store. And as you come around this side, you'll see this is where the wall was in the store. They've done some expanding out in the video. I mean, in the building, excuse me. <laughs> so it's way bigger than it was at that particular time. Very, very awesome to see. Okay, I didn't plan this, but of course they are actually showing the movie here in the bar. Very cool. So, you get to actually check out where the film was made. Right here. Very, very awesome. And they are official. They have a chainsaw right here in the corner of the restaurant. And here we have some photos from when it was the chainsaw store. The building has been through some changes, but it's very cool to see that it is still here in Austin and receiving patrons. Okay, travelers, we are now here at our second part of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 video. Right behind me there is the Colorado Pedestrian Vid. The Colorado Pedestrian Bridge here in Bastrap, Texas. This is the location for the bridge chase scene 
with Leatherface as he's making sure to go after the yuppies that are on their way to the OU Texas game in Dallas. Now, as someone that lives in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we don't need the extra traffic, so Leatherface did us a favor. As you get a good look at it, you notice that it's actually pretty smaller than what it shows in the movie. They did a bit of movie magic. It's not very long. I passed by it on the way driving in. Unfortunately, the walkway is close to it, but we'll try to get a little bit closer to see if we can get a, you know, more of an up close and personal view. Well, we are here travelers, but as I stated earlier, unfortunately, the bridge is temporarily closed due to construction. So, we'll go around this way so that we can get kind of a good view of it. Okay, as you see, the bridge, you know, really isn't that long. There's only three very small arches before you get to the end. So, Toby Hooper did his thing. <laughs> You know, some good old booby magic with making it seem like the cars were really driving a very, very long way to get to the yuppies' death. But in reality, it really isn't that long at all. A little history on the bridge here. It was built in 1922 by the Kansas City Bridge Company of Kansas City, Missouri. Good to see the history here. And as I came over this way earlier, there are different placards here of people who donated in honor of the antique lamps here that are part of the bridge. Very awesome to see that people have, you know, contributed to making sure that this bridge stays a beautiful part of the Bass Trap area. Cool little detail, some locks here. You know, normally when you see those, they're a symbol of love, you know, couples that, you know, want to commemorate their everlasting love. I wonder if Leatherface came by here to, you know, commemorate the love for his family. Well, travelers, that's it for today's video in regards to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 filming locations. You know, I just want to make a quick little detour while I'm in town for the cult classic convention. Be on the lookout for that video, travelers. I'm making sure that this channel is, you know, up to date with all types of cool horror related videos. So be on the lookout for reviews coming soon, more conventions, more filming locations. You never know what will be next. Again, travelers, this is your guy, Brendan with the Horror Green Book signing off letting you know that it is scary in those streets. So let me know that you made it home safely.